So what's up guys, it's Ash here and welcome back to a brand new video. I hope you're all having a fantastic day so far. I'd just like to quickly start off this video by saying thank you for all of the support on the recent videos. It's been absolutely incredible and I really, really appreciate it. You know, it's nice to see all of these new fresh subscribers ready for FIFA 19. I really hope I can produce some content that you guys will like and will enjoy to watch. Anyways guys, today we're going to be talking about the topic of AI defending, what it is, for those that don't understand and the effects that it has on the game and whether it's good or bad. But just before we get into today's video guys, I would appreciate it if you could drop it a thumbs up, uh, subscribe to the channel if you are new so you never miss out on any FIFA 19 content like this and don't forget to turn on notifications so you're actually notified when a video is posted because YouTube won't actually send you my videos else. So what is AI defending for those wondering? Well, AI defending is where the computer will perform certain actions such as auto lunges and tackles without the user giving any input or instructions to do so. So in other words, the AI will automatically do certain things for you like tackling opponents, even if you haven't told them to do anything, it's just like the computer doing it for you essentially. Now this is one of those really, really controversial topics within the FIFA community because there's those that think, well, if if you can't do it yourself, you shouldn't be able to do it at all, like the computer shouldn't do it for you because the whole point of a game is for you to do it, blah, blah, blah. And then there's the arguments that, you know, you can't control every player on the pitch at the same time, which I agree with to a certain extent. And there's people which say like, oh, you get assistance in attack, like you don't have to aim your shots, players make runs, so why should defending be any different? It's one of those things where if it is in the game, people are going to complain, and if it isn't in the game, people are going to complain. You know, there are those that even go as far as saying it can kill the online experience of FIFA. So what do I think about AI defending and do I think it's going to kill FIFA 19? Before I answer the question, I'm going to give you guys a bit of information and context so you can actually understand my answer. At the start of FIFA 18, there really wasn't any AI defending at all. It was completely manual defending. This was one of the features that EA actually advertised when they were selling the game. Now, those that played FIFA 18 within the first couple of weeks will remember that there was like 10 plus goals nearly every game. And this was due to the removal of AI defending and the implementation of manual defending. Now, if I can remember correctly, when FIFA 18 released, the defenders would not tackle for you at all, but they would still position themselves mostly meaning you had to position a lot of the players yourself, but they wouldn't just stand there and not move. They'd get themselves into the base positions where they should be. It was just down to you whether you wanted to move them, you know, to give yourself a defensive advantage. Now, because people weren't used to this style of defending within FIFA, we were used to a lot of AI assistance, it made for a big learning curve and created a massive skill gap. And those that were good at the game were able to slap people by about 10 goals. And those that weren't good at the game weren't going to win a game at all because the, the, the learning curve was just so great going from all of this computer assistance to little to none. Now for me this wasn't a problem at all. I thoroughly enjoyed playing through the first couple of weeks of FIFA 18. I found it very refreshing and something that I hadn't felt before. Like I'd never felt that much freedom in a FIFA game. You were free to do whatever kind of attacks you want because you know it was all down to human error. Like the computer wouldn't make up for mistakes. The computer wouldn't just go in and tackle you. So you know, if you wanted to just run at somebody and dribble past them, you could unless the user stopped you. It felt really different and I liked it. This wasn't just because I was scoring a lot of goals. Believe it or not, I was probably conceding more than I was scoring and I was losing a lot of games, but I was having more fun losing games than I was winning games halfway through FIFA 18. There was just so much more reward in winning at the start. Now you're probably thinking, well, if there's like 10 plus goals every game, that's a problem. Surely like the defending is an issue and it's not working properly. And I don't think this was the case. I really don't think EA gave us enough time to really adapt to the game. Like, because I remember towards the end of the second week, the, the goals per game were going down slightly because people were learning to defend a bit better. They were learning to control the defenders themselves. They weren't just letting, you know, the defenders do it by them, like the computer do it by themselves while they were just holding a midfielder. So what I'm saying is if we had time to learn and adapt, I'm sure like games would go back to normal. There wouldn't be a crazy amount of goals in each and every single one of the games but the problem was we just didn't have enough time to learn the new mechanics like we only had like a couple of weeks max the problem with manual defending is that it takes a long time to learn and a lot of EA's player base are casual players so if a lot of the casuals 
don't spend a lot of time on the game, they're never really going to learn how to defend manually and they're going to get frustrated at the game a lot more because there's a massive skill gap and they're constantly being beaten by players that are better than them and it's just no fun. And if they're not having any fun, they're not going to spend money on packs, etc, etc. So EA aren't getting any money. So from a business perspective, it was very wise of them to actually you know, put AI defending back in the game because it meant a lot of the casual players could, you know, just hop on and enjoy the game a lot more because they were getting a lot more help from the computer and, you know, they weren't just getting beaten every game. Now, the problem with them adding AI defending back is it just lowered the skill gap so much that you could only get to a certain level playing the game before you know, luck played the major factor when you played against another really good player. So like, if you played against a really good player with AI defending, then it's pretty much luck based, you know, whether the computer favors you or the opponent. But if it was all manual, it was completely down to the user. This is my issue. It just completely, you know, lowers the skill gap to the point where you think, what's the point in playing? Now, in all honesty, I don't really mind a little bit of AI defending, but not to the extent that they had in FIFA 18 I thought it was way too high. I feel like if they just toned it down a bit so it wasn't, you know, the computer that was dictating the games, then I wouldn't have so much of an issue with it. Like, if the computer wouldn't just tackle for you all the time, you know, it wouldn't be so much of a problem. So, in my opinion, it did make the game a lot less fun, but did it kill FIFA 18 and will it kill FIFA 19? I really don't believe it will, and purely because there is so many more major issues in the game that will be more likely to to ruin it than AI defending. AI defending in the scale of things really isn't that much of an issue. You know, compare AI defending to delay, which is worse for the game? I would say delay is far worse for the game. You know, I'd rather have AI defending than my players just not locking onto the ball or, you know, players missing two yard sitters because of a bug or players just colliding into each other because of an engine failure or goalkeepers just not going to save the ball because, you know, they're programmed badly. You see my point? Like, AI defending is not really the biggest of issues when it comes to FIFA. If anything, it's more of a good thing for the well-being of the game, and I'm not saying that from a cons like competitive perspective, but if you think, like I'd probably say about 80% of the people that play FIFA are casual players. They couldn't care less, you know, about being competitive players. Like, AI defending is just going to help them have a way more fun experience, and believe it or not, that's going to help the game far more than the 20% of pro players that are happy. Like, if EA have to choose between a minority of hardcore competitive players being happy and the rest of their casual fan base being happy, they're going to favour the casuals purely because that's where all of the money is at for them, really. So I really think EA are being smart with it this year. They've kept AI defending, but according to, you know, people that played the game at the capture events, such as AJ3 and whatnot, they've said that there's definitely more of a skill gap and the AI defending is way less noticeable than it is in this game, purely because they've added so many, you know, different features such as flicks and stuff, which are really going to help you, you know, work around this. They've also widened the skill gap by adding things such as timed finishing and manual goalkeeping, more skill moves to use. So I really don't think AI defending is going to have the effect that it did this year because they've added features that, you know, hardcore players can learn to really give them the advantage over the not so good players. So there is still a skill gap while they're maintaining AI defending so that their casuals can enjoy the game. So basically they're trying to make everybody be able to enjoy the game, whether they're casual or competitive. So for me, AI defending isn't ideal, but I can live with it, you know? I enjoyed FIFA 18 at the start of the year. I still got, like, Elite 1 ranks in Foot Champions. It, it wasn't that which annoyed me. It was more like the buggy gameplay and the lag and all the annoying stuff. Like, just because I don't like AI defending and some of you might not like it, it doesn't mean nobody else does. A lot of people were calling for them to up the AI at the start of the game, because I remember people saying, oh, my defender just stands there when the, like a cross comes in so you know EA are in that situation where you know if they add it people get mad and if they remove it people get mad so to sum my answer up I don't think AI defending will kill FIFA 19 because there are far more issues like that are more important anyway and you know they've added new features which widen the skill gap so that the better player can still win despite AI defending being there making it you know pretty irrelevant in the full outcome of games but I think it's time 
time we all stop being pessimistic and just wait for the game to be released and just give it a go. If it sucks, it sucks. If it doesn't, it doesn't. You know, we don't know until we play it. But yeah, I just decided to make this video because, you know, I, I hear people talking about this AI defending a lot and I just thought I'd give my verdict on it and, you know, if I think it's going to affect the game in the way other people do. But yeah, I hope this has just cleared some things up for you. I hope it's given you a bit of an understanding of AI defending and the effects it has. But yeah, that's it for today's video, guys. If you have enjoyed it, I would appreciate it if you could drop it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you are new so you never miss out on any videos like this one. Don't forget to turn on notifications so you are actually notified when a video goes live because like I said, YouTube is a bit broken when it comes to giving out you know videos in sub boxes. But yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. Be sure to comment down below your opinions on this video, whether you agree, disagree and whatnot. And uh, yeah, I hope you will have a fantastic rest of your day and I will catch you all in the next video. Peace.